WJFK's Grease Man Show. Hi, right, it's the Grease Man Show. You made it through. What's cooking? Hello? Hello. Yeah, go ahead. Grease here. Hey, um, Grease, I was wondering, uh, who is your uh, most famous, like, sports person? Who do you uh, like the most? My famous athlete of all yeah. time? Yeah. Boy, that's a doozy, isn't it? Yeah. Huh? That is a doozy. Well, while you're thinking about that, also think about who is the one you dislike the most. I always, I always kind of like, I, I always kind of like Sonny Jurgensen lumbering around the field. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, throwing those, throwing those deep balls. He had a belly hanging out of him, and he'd walk around. He'd command that field. I liked it. He'd be out there. I always liked Sonny. You know, he'd come out on the field, and you know something was gonna happen. How about the, who do you uh, dislike the most, or? Well, you know, I never really let it affect my life to the point where I'd lose sleep over it. Well, anybody. there was an article in the paper about it today. They surveyed a bunch of people, and um, Mary Lou Retton was every uh, yeah, right. the poll's favorite. And really? Yeah, I couldn't Mary that. Lou, Mary Lou. I don't believe she's going to be on that balance beam anytime soon these days. Yeah, she's a little heavy. Now. Well, let's, you know, the years take their toll. <laughs> but she was a sweetie, wasn't she? Yeah, I guess. I remember it was funny. They had to recall that Wheaties box she was on. Remember she had milk splattered all over her face? Remember that was the biggest selling Wheaties thing, but they had to recall it. All the deviants were going nuts. They were seeing, really? That's apparently that happened. photo, I think. There she is. Yeah, she still looks happening. She's from West Virginia. <laughs> yeah. Gymnast Mary Lou Retton and figure skater Dorothy Hamill, who won Olympic medals 9 and 17 years ago, are the USA's most beloved athletes. Beloved, uh, uh, Retton and Hamill represent that wholesome, energetic, spirited, honest, all-American image that cuts across generations and regions of the country. How do you like that? Wow. Boy, it just overwhelms me. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and she's just weird. But I'd say, first of all, Lou is the makeup. You know, she's just a little picture. Get that, get all that makeup off of that. I can't understand why uh, they picked Mike Tyson as the least uh, looked up. Uh, <laughs> Old wacky Mike, now. Nah. All, right. <clears throat> All right, thank you. All right, Grease. Appreciate it. Hi, it's Grease. What's cooking? Hi. Hi. This is Deborah calling from New York. Yes, Deborah. What's yeah, on your yeah. mind? My problem is that I am with someone I really care about. Yes. And when we get into some intimate kind of... Uh, I'm with you. I'm following you. Yes. It's uh, bada bing, bada bang, ba boom. It's over. Really? And uh, a friend of mine told me that frequency would help. So we've been going at it just about every night, two, three times a day. But? It's not helping. How old are you, Deborah? I'm 25. You've had some uh, com comparative uh, action from fellas in years gone by, huh? A little bit. And I mean, I know you never had this problem, but maybe you've heard. And you could guide me in the right direction as to what to do, because I really care about him. And he's got the equipment. We just got to learn how to use it. Yeah, maybe he's too nervous. Can you get him to relax a little bit? Relax. Hmm. Well, yeah. I've known him for a couple of years. Well, get a picture of his mother. <laughs> and then when he looks like his eyeballs are rolling up in his head and you know it's about to end, quickly whip that picture of his mother in front of his face, <laughs> and that might cause the bubbling tide to subside. <laughs> you know, and every time he's, he's ready to go, eh, 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 you go, your mother, look at your mother. And then he'll go, oh, oh, oh. Unless, of course, he's from West Virginia, in which case the whole thing will be over in an instant. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Deborah. good luck. I'm sure it'll work out. I mean, a man has to get a little experience. I mean, you just don't start out uh, being a total man. Now, this is the sound. I, I've actually had a tape recorder in the room when me and my funny little honey are involved in action. And this is how it sounds like when I'm pouring the cold to it. One time we were at the beach, and uh, I didn't realize it, but I'd actually left Cupid's Quiver, and there I am doing my work. Next thing you know, I hit a geyser. I mean, I think I struck oil. Two of us were up in the air going, whoa! Yeah! Yeah! I want to grub stake this claim, I'll tell you that. Everybody came around, hey, where'd the oil come from? I just smiled and said, yeah, buddy, I'm a man. 
And I remember another time we were up in the woods, and there wasn't nobody around. And it was such a romantic night, I must have gone on a couple hours. I mean, Some of my best work. Once again, I'd somehow slipped out of the target area. I was hitting the ground so hard for that couple hours that I looked through the hole that I dug and I could see light coming through. And there were people at the other end yelling at me. Damn, honey, look at him! I done dug my way to China here. Hey, y'all got any Mugu guy pan? You can shove through the hole. Yeah. Some Kung Pao chicken, maybe? There's more, more on the way. I'm enjoying every inch of it. Right here on the all-new Greaseman Show. Tonight.